Sure, again, this is Brewery Orchestra. Right. Oh, wow. yes. <laughs> it's great to be here in Ireland. John Lennon here. Oh, how do you do? How are you? John Lennon, Paul McCartney. How are you? Ringo Starr. I don't know who you'd be here. An Irish man here, George Harrison. Hey, let's go. Look at the Irish Ringo. Gentlemen, if I may, please. T tell me, first of all, is the haircut uh, an act by accident or design? Accident. You didn't have time to get your haircut in the first place. Yeah. No, it just happened, you know. Ringo's was a bit by design. Because he joined yeah, later. I designed it. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you get your hair cut, by the way? Uh, well, we don't. We try not to mention that. <laughs> it's a dirty word. Uh, uh, this, this new phrase that's coming up, the Liverpool sound, is a bit of a, a puzzle to some of us older people, especially in Ireland. Could you, could you define it for me? It's could a puzzle to us, too. It's not really a Liverpool sound. There's no it just thing. so happens that the, the new groups who have come out all happen to have come from Liverpool, so people sort of generalise a bit and say, aha, the Liverpool sound. But it, really, you know, uh, if you listen to the groups, they're all quite different. Yeah. It's not all one big sound that's coming out. Now, it's no use saying, are you, are, you, are you surprised by your success? Because quite plainly, you're not a bit surprised. But we are, no, we are surprised, but you just sort of, you know. It's so surprising. I mean, it just, it we just look surprised register. every day. <laughs> we, we look off our heads, wouldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, about your, your Irish backgrounds. Yeah. I think we've all got a bit. Except, you know, Jaime on the end, though. <laughs> Stop! Still going? Irish backgrounds we're on. Irish an Irish I think I saw one, I think I saw you being greeted by uh, by somebody outside. No, no, that, that was, was George. Me, that was me. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, actually, it was um, my mother, <laughs> <laughs> who who's, she came over here, you know, because she's got hundreds of cousins and relatives over here, yeah. and then she hasn't seen us for weeks anyway because we've been away. That's so good. she's come to see the show and to see her cousins and. One of the cousins was here with her. Your mother has to come to Ireland to see you. Yeah. <laughs> well, this in a way typifies the kind of uh, the kind of extraordinary upset that must occur in your in your let us say your private lives. Do you get home at all? Uh, yeah. It, it, sometimes you get home for a whole week, but sometimes you don't get home. For, you know, for months on end. It's well, normally about one day, in say three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. The new idea, telephones help a bit. You know. Oh, oh I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. God bless Graham Bell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does the, 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 the <laughs> does the continuous living and working together impose any temperamental stress upon you? No, actually, it's quite it's quite lucky because we've been we've been together now oh, for forty years. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we we all been mates for quite a long time, so we we don't get on each other's nerves as much as we could. <laughs> <laughs> We're quite friendly. Yeah, I so I see. <laughs> so I see. Well, well now, uh, so far as I can see, the, the greater portion of your public seems to be female. So what do you attribute this extraordinary success? We, a lot of people here will be very interested to know this. Well, you, you can't make it out, you know. It's We're just, male, aren't we? You know, it'd be funny if they're all fellas. <laughs> don't get away. <laughs> of course, it's very nice. <laughs> you know, you can't. We don't know why. I mean, if we knew, we'd, we'd be made, you know, more or less. You just go and get a, a six groups like us who attracted them. And I forgot my Mac, and so I said to John, "If you don't fetch yours, it's going to rain." You see, well, and he's. <laughs> well, uh, we're talking about your appeal to the feminine sex. I come to the conclusion that whatever it is, it's bigger than four of you. Aye, uh, that's right. <laughs> Charles, I have to go back myself. Follow me. Talk to me. Quiet. Here, here, here. Quiet. For heaven's sake. Listen, what are you doing down here? Like a... You need to see the Beatles, of course. 
I know you are, but but what what particular is about them? Oh, they're great. Their hairstyle, their coats, their jackets, their leather jackets are fabulous. Yes. They're terrific. The sensation. Sensation. Let's take this one off. Sorry. Look at her here. Hey, let me have this here. Hold on. Let me have this here. Let me have this here. This is the fact, ladies. What are you doing here? I'm just waiting for Paul McCarthy to come. Yeah, well, no, what, you, what is it about these, for these fellas that, that, that has you down here being tortured? What are you doing here? I think they're marvellous. Oh, well, just a minute. <laughs> but you're the only lads, they're only schoolboys. Oh, they're only lads. Terrific! Please, please. Now, what time did you take up your position here today? A bit of quarter past one. Yeah. And what is it about these fellas that, that brings you out at that hour of the day? Oh, no, they're just gorgeous. They're what? They're gorgeous. <laughs> well, now, be a bit more explicit. I mean, what is it? Is it the singing or the, the hair or what? The singing and the hair and the jacket. Uh, and, and is that all? No, everything. I don't know. It's really <laughs> singing everything. Well, what about you? I like to really sing. The way they sing? What way do they sing? I've never heard them. Give a great beat to every uh, song. Give, what, like what, I mean? Give us a sort of an like, idea. Like, she loves me. Or, like um, she loves you. What is that? She loves you. Yeah. yeah. She loves you. Yeah. And, and you love them? Yes. Oh, yes. You do. You do. What about you, ladies? Yeah, I just like them. You just like uh, them? Yeah. You're, not, you're not mad about them? No, I'm not mad about them. Well, you have no right to be here at all. Oh, then I like them. Then I'm mad about them. <laughs> and what about you? I don't like them. You don't? Well, thank no. goodness for that. Well, what are you doing here? We're getting tickets for next week from Helen Shapiro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and that's it, whatever it is. My sympathies are with the girl who's looking for Helen Shapiro. And this is good night, and for all I know, it's goodbye.